Four corners of globe, I know that it's true. Heard of old woman who lived in a shoe? So many kinder knew not what to do. <laughs> not the same story I'm about to tell you. Mutter and Vata, that's Anna and Matt, lived not in a shoe, but rather a flat. No, not an off note, just very small space. Half score of children put dozen in place. Ten tiny reindeer, oh, oh no, that's the wrong tale. Rather, this story is about how Fred prevailed. Fred is in Rogers with no ginger zee. Wait, what was story I'm telling you thee? Right, 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 right. I'm now back on track. This is a story of a pie attack. Pie is an apple, not geometry. Let me get to it, then you shall see how Joe Mac, Joanna, Catherine, Nora, Judy, Celinda, Keith, Carl, and Grant, along with their parents, just desserts avowed. De Mutter Anna baked delicious pies, though it was grosser. Still, pie share was nigh. For one, when one takes pie and divides by twelve, it's but a sliver upon which one dwells. The second to last is penultimate. That child is Nora, while Grant's last on list. Nora at dance class was not home that night when Vata Matthew divided pie right. No, not as in fool's gold. Please pay attention. Matt divided pie in equal sections. <sighs> Nine little children plus mama and pop each had their fair share, then eating did stop. Anna de Mutter took Nora's small piece, set it in cupboard for a later feast. Cuckoo rang seven. That's a clock, not me. When Nora returned by car neighborly, Anna and Matthew were both pleased as punched to have dear Nora return to their bunch. Anna grabbed dinner from their microwave, told daughter Nora about pie she had made, said it was tasty and said it was sweet, and she had saved some for post-dinner treat. Nora was tired at end of long day, but she was happy as Anna did stay there in the kitchen with her smallest miss. They talked and giggled, then giggled and talked. Nora's clean plate club was tippity-top. As Nora finished, Anna went to where she'd stashed the pie slice, but found it not there. Anna was livid and Nora distraught. Anna demanded pie stealer be caught. She called a meeting and lined her cubs up, said she touched noses and culprit. Larop, please do not beat me, Grant answered his plea. No, I should not have, but pie thief was me. Matthew Devata declared in sorrow. Grant, to the corner for time out must go. Nora, I'm sorry, come sit on my lap. We'll watch Fred Rogers. I know you'll like that. That's how it happened. That's how this got writ. For in their watching, Fred Rogers asked this. What do you do with the mat that you feel? Do you hit a drum, cross your arms, and pout? Swear that's the reason poem came about. Nora was angry, and Nora was sad. Nora had ball fists that A thought she had. Decided poem would be her justice, and with some slap rhyme. She created this. Sister Susie sat beneath spinning spider with spinning spider spat. Quarreled at absurd. Seems Sister Susie spun a web of deceit, a tale of wantonness. Many had believed the tail suit spun was old and there was replete with deceits long disproved. Injustice did meet. The poor spinning spider, cousin to Charlotte, gained a reputation as heartless harlot. In Victorian times, after George the Third ruled, House of Hanover, ma lined in ways most cruel. Twas Marie Antoinette said, Let them eat cake. Consanguinity was ruse who did make. The deceit taken up by those in the know grew to such proportions cast by the shadow. Spider Victoria called for tete a tete. This was how and why Susie Neath Spider sat. You have impugned my name, said Victoria. I know not what your game, but no, it's vulgar. I truly must insist with your lies dispense and God's own truth proclaim or face consequence. Sister Susie smiled like Dobson's Cheshire cat and then asked Catalee, what Vic do about that? 
Victoria grinned and flashed her thousand eyes, and in single blink brought about Sue's demise. Oh goodness, what a mess! Victoria sighed. Decapitation is this one's regicide. Moral to the story, gathering of threads, careful of lies told, less wish to wind up dead. Turned Grant to Susie just because she could. Thought of school lesson about Royal Hood. Thought of Miss Muffet and Spider's Creepy. Then bit off Grant's head, and that was nifty. As sure as the night brings an end to day, Nora's poison pem put anger at bay. Her anger was gone, but smile on her face. Ha! <laughs> was for just desserts Grant's treat she would taste. For the rest of the week, the ruling came down. She'd get Grant's desserts. Deemed just all around.